she's a little bit thinking about biting me right now. People ask me how many times I've been bitten. I honestly ask them, how many times have they farted? <laughs> and they go, that many? And I go, probably more. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. My name's Jay Brewer, and I really like snakes. You get what I'm saying? I own this place called the Reptile Zoo, and it's been a childhood dream, and it's got all kinds of crazy, cool, crazy animals in it. I said crazy twice. We got tarantulas, spiders, we got all kinds of different kinds of snakes. So right over here are actually my gators. This iguana is insane. This is Rex. <laughs> There's so many kinds of snakes. We got tortoises, and then we got some really cool stuff over this direction. Look at this. This wasn't, this isn't very thought out. <clears throat> okay. This snake here is actually an anaconda. It's eating its breakfast. <laughs> Hopefully this is B-roll, but whatever. But those aren't my biggest snakes. So I think we need to get out a big snake. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually measure my favorite snake. It's a reticulated python. I really just wanna know how much she's grown in the last six months or a year. So I'm gonna pick up the front. Come on, girl. Come on. This is my oldest daughter. She was literally born here. <laughs> what, did I, I took two days off? <laughs> Actually, you were bored, and the next day you had to come to work. One day. <laughs> There's all these silly little photos of me, like two years old in diapers, carrying around snakes all around me. Laura is like the CFO. I mean, she's not like the CFO. She's literally the CFO, AKA president. I joke and I say that I make sure the place doesn't burn down. Okay. The other side, the other side. Right up here, less picking up. There you go, right there. <laughs> okay, you go all the way over there. We'll see if she wants to go along with this measuring. Come on, girl, now let's see if we can get you to straighten out. You wanna go that way? This is where it gets a little complicated because we want her to do something she's not wanting to do. Oh, this is where it all goes wrong. This is where it goes wrong. <laughs> Why are you, what are you trying to get me to do? I'm in charge. When you're dealing with an animal that's capable of wrapping around a 200 pound wild boar and killing it and eating it, how do you out muscle a muscle? I mean, it's a solid muscle. I mean, you can see. <laughs> then come back there, Laura. Give her a chiropractor adjustment. We're gonna have to call it 19 foot 11 inches is what about I got out of that. It's actually more than that because I can't get that kink out. Just under 20 feet. We tried a lot of ways to measure a snake and it's, it's not easy. Oh my gosh. All this started from a childhood dream. I think I like reptiles because I found a lot of comfort. When I was a kid, I just, I had nothing. Coming from an orphan background, I spent more time than most kids would ever spend outside. Seeing the different kinds of animals was really fascinating to me. I just decided that I wanted to do something different for a living, and I basically bought a small pet store that had a little bit of reptiles, and eventually it turned into the reptile zoo. I found that a lot of people are really interested in things that they're scared of. Come on, girl. Come this way. See, so right there, you see that? She's a little bit, she's a little bit thinking about biting me right now. So what I have to do in order to prevent her from getting escalated into a problem is I'll just take her hunt, take her perfect target away and I'll touch her for a minute. And now I'm back to normal snake. But she would have struck me right in the face if I'd have kept going forward. Jay's to the extreme, so I sort of reel him in a little bit. Laura's gone, right? <laughs> Come on. You don't want that, do you? Come on. Come on, whoa, 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 come on. This one's quick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you don't want this, do you? Come on, come on. Whoa, hey, that's my foot. Come on, there you go, come on. 
Look at that. That is cool. <laughs> Anything venomous is truly dangerous. Anything non-venomous, come on, we'll put you back together. <laughs> it is, oh. and we'll see this beef. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, I gotta be careful. <laughs> Ow! We've had to have a few stitches here and there. Today, we're actually gonna do a Gaboon Viper video for YouTube and Instagram. Have you ever been bitten by one of these guys? God, no, and I hope I never am or anybody that ever works for me. A venomous snake you don't wanna get bitten by. I almost died from a venomous snake in the wild. I have to invest all my years of experience into staying calm, cool, collect. Okay, you guys, so check this out. Gaboon vipers have long fangs, the longest fang of any venomous snake in the world. So I'll be a little bit careful. Is that incredible or what? These are actually one of the fastest vipers there are, especially left to right. So I want to go ahead and block this direction. Come on, girl. Look at that. Now. A girl like this can sport a solid two inches long fangs and the amount of venom that they can actually shoot at one time out into their prey is astonishing. Look how incredible that is. Is that an incredible snake or what? The rule of dangerous snakes is real simple. Don't mess with them. Look cool? Oh, I can't even continue to do it actually. <laughs> huh? I'm not getting a good shot. Uh... What? You ready? It can't come towards you at all. I don't want you to get too close to it. Come on! Push the damn button! That's as close as you can get. Okay, I'm done. Come on, girl. Back in. We survived. So right over here are actually my gators. We've raised these from babies. So we got, this is Darth, right here. Huh, boy, huh, 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 dark. <laughs> They're all looking like, hmm, hmm, Scooby Snack? Huh, huh? It's gator hating time. <laughs> Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Ain't supposed to get the tongs. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, you're coming out, aren't you? Well, are we going for reality here? No. Okay. I thought we had a little reality series gonna happen there. Now the good news is if you to come out, that's why Tim is right there. Because at the end of the day, we gotta make sure he doesn't go that way. If he does, that's what I have to jump in and deal with it. Okay. Oh, okay, come on. Come on. Oh. Wow. How's that for a snap? Did you hear that, Laura? <laughs> that was crazy. I'm watching you. This iguana is like just just scratch my back, would you? <laughs> I never thought I'd be successful. I never, I, I always knew I was gonna try, uh, but I never thought I could do this well. <laughs> I mean, I've been able to work with my family. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but this, it's a big deal to me. Want another bite? Huh? I'm hungry too. Mmm. There you go. So Beckham's part of the family. Starting from what I consider pretty close to the bottom, how can a little kid that literally was orphaned at 14 and had 500 bucks and nowhere to live dream that big? You know what I mean? Living the dream is literally allowing yourself to take the risk to find your way in life. Share the love, guys. Peace out. There you go. Yeah. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Oh. For some strange reason, the neighbours don't pop round for cuppers, do they? Susie and Simon are obsessed with snakes, lizards and spiders. They run and live in a sanctuary in Dunstable, Bedfordshire, that houses hundreds of species that would make most people's skin crawl. I think we're around 18 plus minus snakes, so it's quite a lot. We have several venomous snakes here at the moment, uh, including Western Diamondback rattlesnakes, we've got three of those. We've got two reticulated pythons in here. One's about 12, 14 feet, and the other one's probably about 10 feet in length. So they're both quite big. If it manages to get around you and starts constricting you, the chances of you getting it off yourself are quite slim. 
Among their daily chores is the daunting process of cleaning out the many reptile tanks. Help. All right, I'm gonna have you. Watch out. I don't want to grab her head if I don't have to. Oop. Okay, now I do. Okay, here we go. All right. You got it? Whoa, oh, she comes a pain. That's it. So, don't really go on. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what can happen. Miss me. Ready? In you go. Defense mechanism is she feels threatened because we have to grab her. If we don't grab her head, she can turn around and bite you in the face. Then you're in real trouble. Because of that, she just emptied our whole bodily <laughs> system all over the place. One of the chores I've got to do now is actually give an injection to a NAR monitor. It's quite a powerful animal. It takes two of us to deal with it. He can whip you with his tail. He can bite you. And they basically found out that he had a bit of an infection somewhere inside him. So every day we have to come in here and give this thing an injection, which <laughs> sounds easier than it is, but um, they're quite a handful. So here it goes. Things off. Yeah. What's that like? Go in. Oh, 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 don't bite you. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Just wait a sec. Okay, hold on. Just goes in. Very slow, very thick stuff. This. Oh, help find again. <laughs> okay, wait, me there. Three quarters done. Oh, okay, done. No, no, not that way. That way. Biting, biting, biting. Look at that. Done. Fun games. There you go. That's it. He likes leaning on it, doesn't he? If you get bitten by a venomous snake, um, your life is in danger. Um, most of the time, people don't die from venomous snakes bites, but you could end up in really big trouble. Like, say, you might lose a hand, a finger, an arm. And they can be uh, can be quite dangerous. If you have an aggressive 20 foot snake, it's not handleable on your own, not safely anyway. Feeding their many reptiles is a big job. Defrosting the frozen rats is the first step. So we're going to feed our resident rattlesnake here. Um, obviously you've got to be very careful, they do have venom, so you do not want to get venom in you, it's a hospital job. So she has injected venom into it, she doesn't need to constrict it. She's still feeling a bit cross with us, so I think uh, she's concentrating on us, not the food item right now. Though a rare occurrence, Snake bites are a painful reminder of the pitfalls of looking after venomous reptiles. Um, I have been bitten before. I was bitten by a copperhead actually twice. My arm swelled up the size of Arnold Schwarzenegger's, started to go black. The pain is like putting your hand or arm into boiling water or fire. Safety is a top priority for the pair. We've got protective gloves uh, which can withstand a snake bite. Every door is double locked and the cage is obviously locked as well. We do have neighbours here. There's six houses or so on the left side of the building and on the other side is a golf course. They know there's snakes here. But the couple has a serious message for visitors to the sanctuary, especially inexperienced would-be owners of exotic animals. We try to educate people about the snakes and why the snakes are here. You know, people see a nice cute little snake in a pet shop, something might only be a few inches long, and potentially can get 18 plus feet. Having visitors here at the Secret Sanctuary as well, we're trying to sort of change people's attitudes, how they feel about snakes. People think they're horrible, slimy, disgusting. So hopefully by coming here, they see how amazing they are, how beautiful they are. And the couple's animal ambitions don't end with reptiles and spiders. I think if we were, we, there were no limits, no licensing, no worries about space, we'd end up having elephants and probably yeah. a giraffe's heads coming through the window. I'd love to get a gorilla. It's not just snakes we're into or reptiles rather. It's anything, you know. We'd always have animals around us, that's for sure. People are always scared when they visit my house. I share my house with more than 70 reptiles. Good boy. They have the potential to be dangerous. When you grab him from the cage, he will try to take your face off. I have been bit, actually. You hungry? I do worry about her a lot. The power they have in constricting. Yeah, sure. Um, she'll bite you, so be careful. For real? Yeah. Okay. My name is Savvy Sarah and I share my house with more than 70 reptiles. Come on, buddy. Okay, you work on that.
My largest snake is Cookie. She's an eight foot Argentine boa. She's really beautiful. Everybody loves her. And she's also a really sweet snake. Where are you going? She's never done anything aggressive. I have two Argentine boas, a Bolivian boa, Colombian boas, tree boas, ball python, radiated tortoises, redfoot tortoises, sulcatas. Um, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> My largest lizard is Onyx. He is a black throat monitor. He comes from Come Africa. On. He's about five feet long, probably 20 pounds. Sometimes he sleeps in bed with me. He likes his egg raw. These are for all the little lizards, these little guys, and then these will be for the carnivores. They eat meat, so I'll give them a mix of stuff too. This is just little fruits and veggies for the guys. It's good to give them a variety of different fruits and vegetables. Go. They'll eat thousands of different plants in the wild. So it's good to mix it up for them. Go get it, guys. <laughs> it costs roughly $350 a month to care for all of my reptiles. Right now she's in feeding mode. She just thinks I have food for her. Come here. Since she's a boa constrictor, sometimes when they constrict their prey, they squeeze so hard that you can actually hear the bones break. I got my first reptile when I was six years old. I started out with just a few little snakes and my collection grew so much. Savvy has had a passion for reptiles since she was in diapers. She would pick up lizards. She caught her first snake when she was two years old. I watched her do it. People are always scared when they visit my house. He's just showing us how big and bad he is. He's a little bit intimidated, so he's just trying to scare us. Uh-oh. I have been bit. Actually, I was monitor sitting. He just kind of crawled and then he bit me here. He sliced me open pretty good and then I got some stitches and it was fine. I do worry about her a lot, um, especially when she's out in the Everglades catching Burmese pythons. Hello, I'm here and I brought hey. the python. Come in. I know how large they are. I know how aggressive they can be and I know how dangerous they can be. But I also know that Savvy um, is well trained and she knows what she's doing, so there's a fine line. I've been working with Savvy for a number of years. All right, Savvy, this is the python, and he is a wild one that tamed down. So um, when I go to grab him out of his cage, he tries to eat me every time. But once he knows that you're not food, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll let you uh, be. So when he's in his cage, he thinks I'm food all the time. Actually, you just go ahead and just. So this one is what? 12 feet, somewhere around there? Stretch him out. So let's just see what, what kind of mood he's in. Yeah, he, okay, you can go ahead and grab him. But see, he is so food motivated that when you grab him from the cage, he will try to take your face off. Seems pretty good right now. Yeah, no, no, he's fine now. And the sun will do nothing but wake him up a little bit. Savvy is one of those people. Her commitment is is 24/7. It's kind of exciting to see the new generation coming up, and and I'm here to to help her all, all along the way. If this were to bite, uh, they're not venomous, and and it, it's going to ruin your day. But uh, but the big concern is this: the power they have in constricting. And if she were alone, and this thing decided to to constrict. There's no way her eye 
or the, or, or the biggest guy or girl in the world could ever take this apart. So one, one of the things I teach is, is I would never handle uh, any of these snakes alone. There's always, you always should have a tag team member just in case. You know right. that. Yes. In the future, I really want to travel. I want to educate people on reptiles, teach them that they're not horrible, ugly creatures coming after you. They're really intelligent and they deserve our respect. They look like little dragon fruits. All these reptiles is definitely a lot to take care of sometimes. You hungry too? I don't have food for you right now. But it's my passion and I wouldn't trade it. <laughs>